What's up everyone, I'm up here for this video and the patch notes have dropped. I am going to go over all of it for you so you don't have to read these giga long patch notes, tell you everything that's important. We learned so much from this patch notes and this upcoming patch tomorrow is going to be very, very, very exciting. Everybody should be looking forward to the dark ride update because there is so many good things coming, bro. I cannot stress that enough. And what's even better is I'm going to be having so many videos explaining all the upcoming events, playing it live on my stream every single day. So if you're not followed on the Twitch, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, you're going to miss out. You will know everything by following my lead. With that being said, though, let's get right into it. So the first part of the patch notes is the Aran and Shade remaster. So this giant part just telling you about everything in regards to Aran and Shade and all the skills that are being changed. Obviously, there's many videos about this. I've made videos about Aran and Shade and stuff like that. You could join the Aran and Shade Discord to see what they think about it. But all in all, Aran and Shade are being remastered if you have no idea, meaning that their skills are changing and they're basically becoming pretty different, but still the same identity in terms of their class. Now, skill improvements and bug fixes, these are what we talked about in the previous video about the balance patch, right? So a lot of skills are becoming passive, decent speed infusion, decent advanced blessing, maple warrior skills. The goddess skills are changing to have a two minute cooldown, which is really, really, really good. And certain things are becoming toggles like blue blood, mana overload. There's no such thing as like a cooldown on these skills anymore. Last resort getting a slight nerf and decent holy fountain, decent mystic door and soul Janus got slightly nerfed as well. Basically, a lot of these skills that are like summons or skills that fly around, they're not going to be able to proc soul Janus anymore, but it's still going to be brain dead training. Like it's nothing really to worry about, to be honest with you. Now, these are all of the class balance changes. One that wasn't in the video that I made was the angelic buster one. The angelic buster burst got got nerfed it definitely got nerfed but i still think ab is still a good class even if it's burst got nerfed a little bit because it's burst was really strong to be honest with you and then the rest you can you can either watch the video that i made it, talking about all the buffs and nerfs which i'll have linked below or you could read through it in the patch notes yourself which will also be linked below but all the buffs and nerfs pretty much exactly everything that i said would be in this upcoming update now, what's weird, though, is that Hayato, Kana, and Lin are not in this patch notes, and we don't know exactly why they're not in the patch notes, whether they forgot to put them in, or maybe Hayato, Kana, and Lin aren't getting those changes at the moment. Maybe they'll get them in the future. We don't know. We don't know exactly what's happening with Hayato, Kana, and Lin. Hopefully, it gets sorted out and we get an answer from Nexon, but for some reason, Hayato, Kana, and Lin, the non-KMS classes, are not in the balance changes for the patch notes. Now, next up, let's talk about the level up flow changes. So I'm going to have an entire video on this. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out. But long story short, what this is, is MapleStory has added a main story quest line. And you can follow this entire quest line from character creation all the way to 200. All you have to do is complete the quest line. And it's a very streamlined way of getting to 200. I'm going to have a video where I compare this to raw dog training to 200 and see what's actually faster to see if this is worth your time. Because if this takes like 10 hours or something, then training. 200 is just faster but if it takes like one hour then this is really really good and you could get aka legion extremely easily so we'll see exactly how long this takes but it's still really good though because even for new players i like that they're making it easier instead of not knowing what maps to go to you would just be able to do this and more options is always good now this is a really big one intense power crystal revamp so yes the boss crystals are getting revamped the way that the crystals work is changing so how it works is there are going to be three different types of crystals you can see over here that there's a blue one a purple one and a yellow one so the blue one is for daily bosses the purple one is for weekly bosses and the yellow one is for monthly bosses aka black mage only the catch with this is that you could only sell 12 weekly boss crystals per character and there's still a 180 crystal limit. So what that means is if you wanted to sell all 180 crystals, you would need 15 boss mules instead of the current 12 boss mules standard. So you would need more boss mules to sell all of the crystals. There's more to it than that before you get angry. There is more to it than that. So let's say you sell 12 crystals, right, on your weekly boss, and then you happen to clear a higher end boss, right? You might think you're unable to sell that crystal because you already sold 12. No, you, you can actually still sell it and you'll just get the difference in between. So you can see here, it says, if a weekly crystal of higher value compared to your previous crystal is sold, you'll receive the difference in mesas without affecting the world limit. So no matter what bosses you clear, you're always going to get the maximum amount of mesos that you could get from those 12 crystals per week. The implication that we're probably going to get is that they made it so that the higher tier bosses actually sell for more 
Bezos. So right now, if you were to clear Hard Lucid Solo, for example, it would give you 400 million mesos. But this is implying with this line over here, intense power crystals obtained before November 20 would be sold at pre-maintenance price. This is implying that there's going to be different values for the crystals now. Now, the reason why people are thinking that higher end bosses will sell for more is because it wouldn't make any sense if it wasn't that way because then it would just be a straight up nerf to the crystal limit so this picture shows that this crystal has sold for 81 mil right now bosses like cra excluding vellum also sell for 81 mil so people are viewing this and are thinking like okay so the regular lomian and below boss crystals are all the same but the big crystals like h lomian and above are going to be worth more so if that's the case, again, this is not confirmed. We'll find out after the maintenance tomorrow exactly if the crystal values have changed or not. If that's the case, then this is an overall buff to the crystal system. The reason why it's an overall buff to the crystal system, if that's the case, is because it means that the more you fund your boss mules, the more reward you get from them. Right now, there's really no point in funding your boss mules past Lomian because it's so cheap to get them to Lomian and you make a lot of money from it. But if you were to fund them to c 10 to H Lomian, stuff like that, it would take dozens to over a hundred bill to do it and you'll never make your money back. And it just has to be a passion project. But if you can actually get meaningful returns from clearing high-end bosses, that means you're more incentivized to get stronger, which is a good thing. It's always a good thing that if you fund more, you get more in return. But if that's not the case, if the higher end crystals did not go up, then this is an overall slight nerf to all the meso crystals. So at best, it's a buff to everybody who plans to fund their characters more and more and more. And at worst, it's a slight nerf to all boss crystals. That's the way that I look at it. I'm going to choose to be optimistic. I think after the maintenance, they're going to have higher crystal values for the higher tier bosses. But who knows? Familiars are added to Hotel Arcus. So just like all the other regions that have fams, you just kill the mobs and you can get fams. What's really cool is that the Wasteland badge gives you magic attack 1% and ignore enemy defense 3%. So this is a super strong badge for all the mages. Boss monster slash bug fixes. So this is a huge one. You do not need to kill normal Rutabis five times to do CRA anymore. You could just immediately unlock CRA now. And you don't need the keys to enter Rutabis. You could just enter the bosses like any other boss. Finally, bro. Should have done this like eight years ago and now you can skip the cutscenes during bosses too so those phase cutscenes when you enter the boss you can just skip them and immediately enter the boss super convenient and now whenever a big item drops you can get like this crazy effect this crazy rainbow effect happens when something drops what's really cool about chaos kalos and kaling is that they drop eternal armor boxes now so the finishing eternals will be a lot easier moving forward which is really nice and these boxes are not affected by drop rate monster park changes so this is a big one monster park changes are going to be so that you can only enter once per day for free and if you want to do the remaining six runs you have to buy the monster park tickets from the cash shop with mesos right but normally you would have to buy five tickets but now you have to buy six tickets but the good thing about monster park is that all of the xp has been doubled permanently so monster park is insanely good value the part that they're not telling you and that they tell you later in the cash shop update actually is that the price per ticket has also doubled so it's seven million mesos per ticket instead of three and a half million so what people are doing is they're stocking up on tickets now for the next two weeks because the tickets have a two-week expiration date you would if you would want to stock up on tickets you would need to buy 84 monster park tickets right now on the character you plan to do monster park for two weeks on so another thing that's added is the fast character change ui so you're able to change characters in game now really quickly and without having to relog super cool the maple planner has been added to the game so the maple planner is this ui that you can use it's going to be on the left side of your screen that has all of your dailies on it all of your weeklies all of your bosses so you don't forget get anything it's always going to be there it's going to reset every day every week and you'll never miss anything anymore so this is super good don't need any third-party utilities built into the game now very very convenient v matrix improvements so this is improvements to fifth job basically you're going to have more node slots unlocked a lot easier so you don't have any like struggle fitting in any slots even if you're low level and now you can craft your perfect trio for 500 node shards so if you go to craft boost node you can craft the exact one that you need for 500 node shards so this makes it extremely 
easy to get your perfect trios. You still gotta obviously level up all your nodes, so you still do need a lot of nodes, but it's just way easy to get our perfect trio now. And now you could also extend special skills. So people who have like Fatal Strike, you could extend it up to one month. So you don't have to worry about your special node expiring. The buff display system got added as well. So it makes it so that you can customize what buffs you want to be seen. You could have different lines for different buffs. You could even have it in a custom UI that you can place around the map. And you could see like, you know, this is a two by three. You could change like the layout of it too. Super customizable, super cool. If there's any ice landings watching this, you know how hard it is to find your infinity in the giant buff bar. So this is a huge, huge quality of life. There's some slight item changes like 1.5 and 3x coupons look different now so you know what they look like you're able to put on weapon eye earring rings on androids and stuff too just to customize them a little bit more so for the quest changes this is a big one six job quest has been reduced from 50 billion to 10 billion xp per stone which basically means that unlocking your six job is like five times faster now or like over five times faster it's super fast to unlock your six job now so that's amazing so guild castle revamp long story short with the guild castle if you do kill the 5k mobs gives you a lot of xp and you can get better rewards now you can get stuff like soul or the fragments sacred symbols so the rewards are pretty good if you want to do the 5k mobs for your guild every single week you get way more rewarded for it and the xp is really good too actually so exceptional enhancement changes this is for end gamers basically if you clear extreme bosses there's a chance for this like hammer to drop and you can apply it to your pitch set and you can apply it to the brilliant boss set which is better than the pitch set that's coming out in the future and it adds extra stats to it this is like super hyper end game stuff they changed some stuff about high mountain what's cool about high mountain is that you can spend ten dollars in real life to just skip high mountain and you get all the rewards for it so if you're a whale you're probably really happy to see this and you just save time from doing high mountain they also made high mountain easier they nerfed the boss hp and stuff like that which is really cool so collector's request this is a new item that is being permanently added to the game. Sayram's Elixir and Aurelia's Elixir. Sayram's Elixir, you can buy it and use it for bossing. It gives you 10% attack, magic attack, plus 50 attack and magic attack, 10% boss, 16% crit damage, and 20% crit rate. So this is going to be huge, huge, huge for all boss meals, for bossing clears on your main, all that stuff. It gives you a massive buff instead of having to bug people to buff you up. And then Aurelia's Elixir gives you door. So you don't even have to ask a bishop for a door. You can just get your own door now. You cannot use these in dojo or covert though. And you can't use them in the boss map either. Now the dark ride, a ride or die event, super good event. I made a whole video about it yesterday. You should definitely watch it linked below, but we do get some more information about it. So these are all of the different types of challenges and debuffs that are going to be happening as you're doing the ride or die. There are so many of them. My favorite one is be gone. I don't know. I just think it looks so funny. Be gone spawns a wandering ghost that shoves you a great distance. There's so many. You could look at them here. There's 24 different debuffs that can happen. It's super cool. I've read through all of them and it's cool. Like Nexon put a lot of effort into making this entire new game, basically. And there's a lot of different debuffs, a lot of really cool stuff. But long story short, the debuffs just boil down to like things that mess with your movement, things that could kill you, things that do damage to you and all that stuff. So while you're doing the bosses, these debuffs can happen. How do you get rid of these debuffs and how do you make it easier for you? There's the Altia support. So Altia support, how it works is there's three levels to it, right? And you can charge it up higher and higher up to charge level three, which is the max by grabbing these white balls that spawn at different spots in the map. Grabbing the white balls increases the gauge. And then the more gauge you have, the stronger the buff from Altia that you get. And what Altia's buff does is it gets rid of these debuffs basically so it just makes it so that you don't have to worry about all these debuffs so i think it's going to be really important to get these balls when you're running around and it's probably going to be important to have a mobile class i'm going to have a bunch of ride or die videos i'm going to have a video showing it in practice mode exactly how it works i'm going to be showing you how to do it on multiple different levels of combat power from like a weak character to a really strong character so you know exactly how you can do it so obviously subscribe if you want to see that so you don't miss out. And then these are some of the rewards that you could get. This is for Interactive World, the Chains of Resentment. We get 200 million mesos from the Inkwell coin and a bunch of other stuff that I talked about in yesterday's video. We get the Mepay Node Stone, Mysterious Herb Pouch, which increases drop rate by 50% for five minutes as well. VIP booster box and you can see all the rewards again here where you get the background the NX the other background the sword and this is what the legion block looks like it's a T piece so T piece is pretty cool should be able to fan most legion boards pretty easily as well and then the coin shop so this is the exact amount of stuff in the coin shop so you get up to three mag pots which is pretty good three mag pots is nice 30 black flames 
bunch of symbols, Mape node stone, a hundred soul Urda to in total. So Inspector's Magnificent Soul Box, this is pretty cool because you can get Magnificent Dark now, like times five. This is what most people are probably going to get from it. And then this is the Silver Coin Shop, which has a lot more basic rewards like E-Flames, Droplets, Extreme Growth Potions, which is really good, Trait Boost Potions and stuff like that. Page of Memories. So Page of Memories is like the main event, essentially, besides Ride or Die. So Page of Memories, there's a bunch of different aspects to it. It's very similar to Identisk or the midnight dream catcher event stuff like that it's very similar so you have to be level 101 to enter the first thing that you need to know about the page of memories event is you have this book of unforgettable festivals and then you get this book if you complete it and then you have this daily check-in that gives you a lot of rewards so literally all you have to do is log in and press begin research every single day five times a week so you don't even have to kill any mobs you know what i mean and to get this first part and then it checks in and then you go along every single daily and get rewards and every single day you get three 3x coupons and you get XP vouchers every day, which is super sick. You get a lot of stuff every single day. And then there's the advanced research where you have to kill 2k mobs three times a week. So you have to kill a total of 6k mobs a week. It's not even like a daily thing. And then you get these green books and the green books can be used to buy stuff from the specific shop that has green books. Now there are other books. There's this blue book and this red book and they have their own shop, but we'll talk about how to get that later. And the rewards are really good. So you can see that you can get hundreds of black flames, mag pots, transcendent pots, so many symbols, a lot of notes. So it's, it's pretty good stuff to be honest with you with very low effort and this is the list of all the items here this is the annex set that you get this is the background that you get these are the event buffs so every single time you do the weekly quest the 2000 mobs you're going to get points that you could put into the event buff just like other events where you could get boss ied buff duration normal enemy damage and stuff like that and then you also have these bonus buffs that you can get the best stuff is definitely monster pack xp and then arcane river slash grandis symbols this is definitely the best part of it this is what i'm going to be going for i think monster park xp is super good too because since they're doubling monster park xp you can get even more on top of that and then this is this tells you how many points you need to level something up so von leon swordsmanship this is another part of the page of memories event basically what this is is as you're training up to 30 times per character so every single character has their own set of 30 uses you get a full map attack that helps you clear and gives you a massive amount of xp so if you're brand new and you're trying to get legion from like 101 to 140 or something like that this will give you a massive amount of xp and will make it so much easier for you so presumably Preserving the secret records. So this is kind of like the punch game part of the event where you enter a map, you have two minutes and you hit the book and the higher score that you get, the more points that you get. And these points, they give you the books, the red and blue book the red and blue book this is what you can use to go into that shop that i mentioned before and they have really really good stuff including a brand new flame called an abyssal flame which is better than a black flame so this is what's inside of the shop you could get unlimited amounts of vips two three x's every single day so you get a massive amount of three x in this event droplets um, a stupid amount of flames up to 500 black flames 500 and 200 e flames a bunch of symbols and then in the secret record training center with the red books this is what for the super strong people you can get up to 300 abyssal rebirth flames so these are better than black flames they have the highest chance to get something good i believe they roll between tier five and seven someone correct me if i'm wrong but like it's like super super fat flames and you get soul urda and then mugong soul shards so this is another shop the festival record training center where you can get epic potential scrolls stamps droplets even more flames hundreds of more flames event rings by the way i'm gonna have an entire shop guide showcasing all of the items for you telling you what to get so you don't have to waste your money on like random garbage i'm gonna have a shop guide and let you know you guys love the shop guides that i have made before obviously no bs i'm just gonna let you know what you need and what you don't need so stay subscribed sub if you haven't so you don't miss out on those videos trade boost potions you could get legendary scrolls for the event ring so you don't even have to tear them up and you could get event cubes for the event rings it's super good i to this day on my main hideo i use my event rings for my training gear and i got them a year ago from an event that was just like this so event rings have crazy value for training gear bags arcane symbols node stone 400 nodes like holy moly Black search, legendary search, 
golden strawberry farm entry pass you get five of these a week like that's crazy you can get your legion up to 8k just from this event easily from a brand new account 200 extreme growth potions and another two magnificent potions like bro what that's that i've counted seven magnificent potions in this event so far seven bro and then the meso shop which is generally a scam you don't really want to buy from the meso shop unless you really like these cosmetics for those who are wondering there is a fairy heart there is a fairy heart on the day 30 you get a fairy heart so there's a fairy heart in this event as well so item burning basically how item burning works i believe that it's only on one of your burning it's not for both of them but how it works is as you're leveling up you have these challenges to do right defeat chaos zack vellum pap all that stuff and you get equipment so the equipment looks like 18 star apsos 18 star cra and it's like unique potted and it has flames on it as well so it's like pretty good gear i believe it lasts for four months and then the last mission is to hit 260 and defeat easy lucid and you get a hundred fragments and a level five sacred symbol now the very important thing about item burning is if you put your hyper burning character in the item burning and you decide to delete it later you cannot get the item burning again you have to make sure you do it on your character that you really want it on so for most people that are new you probably want to do it on your main if you're doing like an alt character make sure you know what class you want because if you delete it you cannot participate in the item burning again zero to 100 i have a whole video about this i'll link it below but basically what it does is it allows you to get seven characters from level zero to 100 very easily so if you're a brand new account you can use this to get link skills and it'll be massive for you it'll be super easy to do that you even get the gear along the way too so if you want to train up past 100 to like 140 you could do that easily and then hyper burning of course this is the regular hyper burning you get to choose a character that you want to hyper burn and then these are all the hyper burn rewards so if it's a brand new character you get 15 star cra set and you get the eternal flame title and you get the eternal flame ring which is a very good event ring you get level seven symbols which is crazy 100 nodes level seven symbol 100 nodes 100 nodes next level seven symbol i would highly recommend choosing the dom pendant especially if you're doing item burning if you're doing item burning you'll get a weapon so you don't have to worry about it but if it's not item burning you could probably just choose the weapon and then that's fine and then keep that until even you get an arcane weapon drop to be honest with you or you want to get a real abso weapon drop you get level seven symbol again more nodes a bunch of nodes level seven symbol level seven is crazy they used to give us level five symbols so this is even better infinite flame title which is even stronger and then you get a bunch of XP nodes and 100 sack symbols in the end once you're 260. So there's no arcane weapon at 260. And then blossoming by moonshade hyper burning. So this is just the exact same thing, but hyper burning for shade and Iran. So if you do your hyper burn on a brand new Iran character, this is rewards for new characters. You got a really OP title that gives you XP and a bunch of stats. You get gear, you know, 15 star stuff. You get a ton of 3x coupons. You get a bunch of nodes, even more coupons. You get an event ring, more symbols, 3x coupons. It says experience nodes sometimes 100, but I doubt it's it's 100 XP nodes. It's probably 10 XP nodes, and it's just a typo. And then you could even get a 17 star weapon as well. And then this is the crucial part: is you get a blossoming by moonshade title. This is a best in slot title. It is has the best stats in the entire game, and it's transferable. It is transferable within world. So even if you don't want to main the shade and Iran, the new one, you can get this title, put it on your main, and you have the best title. It has the exact same stats as Yeti X Pink Bean. So if you already have a Yeti X Pink Bean, you would put on a different character. And then it's the exact same thing, but for Iran. So that one was for Shade, and it's the exact same thing for Iran. Or this one's Shade, all the way around. Terra Blink. So you can use Terra Blink for your Hyper Burns. Basically, it gets you to level 200 in like 20 minutes. I'm going to have a whole video on Terra Blink, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. It's super, super simple, super easy to do. And you could get your Hyper Burn all the way from 0 to 200 in no time. Burning World, this is for interactive worlds, where you can create the burning characters there and then move them over to interactive world so this stack of sunny sundays is insane i have never seen a stack of sunny sundays this good so this coming weekend is rune xp and 250 percent monster park which is really good and 3x portal xp december 1st is 5 10 15 and 30 percent off so this is shining star force right the week after that is monster park xp 3x portal rune xp super good for training week after that you get vip weave infusion i don't even know what this is to be honest but it looks cool and you get fragments mag soul shard event and ability reset week after that crazy monster rack xp and this is a new sunny sunday hexa matrix when main stat are level five plus receive a 20 percent main stat increase enhancement so if you haven't done your hexa stat at this point you would want to save 
save your hexastat to do this because it would make the top line on the hexastat a higher chance of increasing which is very 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 good and then the week after that is another shining star force two shining star forces in one rotation a month apart so even if you want to go hard on cube so which is probably going to be on the 29th and you don't have a lot of money for shining you still have another month after that to save for it and this gives you time from creating your character like at the start of like if you're brand new at the start of the hyper burn you have like a month and a half almost to actually get meso drop gear and farm and then actually utilize shining super super good decision and then after that there's 50 percent off inner monster bloom one plus one event and then even more event xp plus monster park xp and then you get a terror burn the week after that so a free 200 and then after that there's a 5 10 15 so even if you couldn't utilize the shining star force there's another 5 10 15 on top of that so that you could get even more star force games crazy that they have three giga star force events in this one rotation and then rune xp after that with monster park and then mag soul event again after that so i mean that's the patch notes honestly if you guys have any questions it is a crazy patch there's so much to come i'm gonna have videos detailing everything on what you have to do how everything works so stay tuned for that obviously if you subscribe if you haven't pull up to the twitch channel i'm gonna be live every single day you could ask me whatever you want you can there was over a thousand people here when the patch notes drop and you can ask them bro i was firing off they were asking questions over and over again i was firing off like a machine bro so yeah pull up it's gonna be a really good time and i'll see you there right obviously if you enjoyed this video share it subscribe pull up to the switch all that good stuff if you have questions leave a comment and i hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much to my members blazefire shooms shigad ravi espa koga pico near skittles dante victory ck j blunt poppy supreme oil backwards and uju i appreciate you guys so much and thank you to everybody who submitted fan art it is so 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 wonderful to see if you ever want to submit anything there's a fan art channel in my discord and thank you guys so much for watching